Let's do it. You and me. We're gonna edit video like a PRO in DaVinci Resolve 17. But there's a little as they say here in Belgium. We're gonna keep it nice and simple. Absolutely no complicated editing techniques or visual effects allowed. So, a few days ago I uploaded my Tic Tac commercial and the behind the scenes and I'll put a link to the behind the scenes in the description in case you haven't seen it yet. Now, it wasn't a real commercial, it was just a fun challenge for myself and the challenge was to use as little gear and props as possible. But that means that the visuals, the shots are not super exciting, a wide background and some Tic Tacs, that's basically it. So editing and music, that's where the magic happened. This video, this commercial came to life in the edit. But let's watch it again first. So let's go over all the shots and I'll show you how I edited this video, how I made transitions and why I did the things that I did, how I built the sequence from the ground up. First music, that's the base for everything. This edit is built on music. So drop your music track on the timeline and then you have to decide where you want the music to start. This track is a lot longer, see? But I didn't feel like the beginning of this music track was right for this commercial. So I just cut it and made it start here. Okay, and then we have the first three shots. And those first shots, I already knew what I wanted them to look like before I started shooting. It was already in my head. So we have the box of Tic Tacs flying into the frame, then we have the explosion of Tic Tacs, and then the Tic Tacs falling on the floor. So I already knew that I wanted those shots in that sequence. And what I did is, I made simple hard cuts on the high notes in the music. Now, where to make cuts is something very difficult to explain and to teach someone, because it's a feeling you have to develop, and I think you can only learn it by watching a lot of videos, listening to the music and then analyzing the cuts and trying to figure out why they made the cuts where they made them. You know what I mean? And then just try it yourself. Practice, practice, practice. So this is what we have now. The three shots and hard cuts. Now, the second hard cut, I like just like that because it feels smooth, but the first one not so much. So what I did is I added a transition. In the effects library, go to video transitions and how many transitions you see there depends on if you have the free version or the studio version of DaVinci. And I also bought some transitions. If you google video transitions for DaVinci Resolve, then you'll get a bunch, free and paid. And here I use the tilt transition so that it looks like the box of Tic Tacs gets pulled out of the frame. And then the next shot is the Tic Tacs coming into the frame from the bottom in the same direction. So just drag and drop the transition and then make it a little bit shorter. And there we go, it's that easy. Now, of course, I also scaled and rotated the shots. This one, for example, see, it's not leveled and I want it zoomed in a little bit more. You can use this button here and scale and rotate or in the inspector window. So, three shots, one hard cut and one transition. And the music decides where you want to make the transitions and the cuts. You have to feel it, remember? Practice, practice, practice. Really important. Okay, and then the next part is stop motion. And it's super simple, guys. So, I took different photos of Tic Tac patterns and I cut them to the beat. That's it. Again, on those high notes. So, it's literally dropping the photos on the timeline and cutting them. Listen to the music and basically make those photos, make those patterns dance to the music. And then we have the three shots of the... Wait, let me... 
then we have three shots of the box of Tic Tacs moving and jumping around on the beat. And I already knew that I wanted those movements on the beat when I was shooting because I already had picked a song before I started shooting. It was already in my head. Make sure to check out the behind the scenes to know exactly what I mean. But so the idea was that the box jumped on the low notes. So dum dum, dum dum, dum dum, or that two Tic Tacs came out on the beat. Dum dum, dum dum. Sounds stupid now, but anyway. And then in the edit, what I did is I dropped those three shots on the timeline and matched the movements of the Tic Tac box to the beat. Of course, again, scale the shots, make sure that everything looks good and leveled. Same for each shot, until it looked and sounded like this. Now, the problem was that I felt like something was missing there. It felt too empty. And again, this is very difficult to explain why, it just felt empty to me. But after having looked at it a few times, I realized that those high notes were there again from the stop motion part. So I just added some more stop motion pictures on those high notes. And this is what it looks like. Okay, and then before we get the hero shot, there's a longer stop motion part again, because that same part of the music with the high notes repeats. So I did basically the same as before, made stop motion photos dance to the music. And then at the end of that part, there's like this da 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 dum, da 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 dum, whatever. But it goes really fast and I also did that with stop motion. Da 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 dum. <laughs> so super simple again, drop the photos, play the music and cut the photos to the music. And then we've arrived at the hero shot already. and. You can hear that the music changes here, but that was actually a coincidence. I got lucky there that the music changed right at the point where the hero shot started. But there was a problem, of course, there's always a problem. And the problem was that the changing of the music, that was perfect, but there was no ending, so the music just kept on going. So I checked the actual ending of the music track and I realized that it was the same part repeating itself. but. At the end, there was of course an ending, it sounded like an ending. So I took the end of the music track, cut it off, deleted the middle part and then just put the ending right here. Of course, you have to make sure that the transition is correct here, that it sounds right. You might have to tweak it a little bit, take off some milliseconds, you know, but it's basically just a hard cut. And the hero shot itself, scale again, make sure it's leveled, and I also added a digital zoom with keyframes. So select the clip, put the playhead at the beginning of the clip, make keyframes for zoom, then put the playhead at the end of the clip and make another keyframe, and zoom in the clip. And now, over the course of the duration of that clip, the clip will zoom in slowly. And then the cherry on top is, of course, some sound effects. I added a whoosh sound to that first transition in the beginning. And that's actually the only sound effect that I downloaded. The rest I recorded myself. So the sound of the box of Tic Tacs, I recorded it myself. And also the box of Tic Tacs thumping on the table, recorded it myself. And I added those sound effects to the clips. And that's it for today guys. Now look, editing, you can make it super simple or super complicated, but a good edit is all about the basics. If you get the basics right, then your edit will look good. It's not about using super advanced techniques and super crazy visual effects. Keep it simple. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.